Sagittarius, for your couple's love reading, I will be doing a relationship comparison spread using the Romantic Tarot deck. Okay, the first card is going to show me where you're at right now. This is what you're thinking about your partner, what they're thinking about you, what you're feeling about them, what they're feeling about you, and the final outcome. Shadow card is the Ace of Swords. Okay. You know, the Ace of Swords pierces. It's something sharp that is being said. Okay, it's also what can be used as a weapon. So, words used as weapons. Okay, um, you know, it's actually kind of a beautiful depiction here. I love this lace glove that she's wearing. Um, it's very delicate and feminine and soft and dainty, and she's holding a sharp object here. So, yikes. Okay, um, I'm also seeing the Three of Swords here as the energy of your relationship right now. Um, okay, so this can be, um, you know, hard feelings, something that hurts, something that's said that was hurtful, or um, an argument that sort of stings and lasts and lingers, but it's definitely something that was said or some sort of action that was taken that was not wanted either by you or your partner. Okay, so just hang in there because there's other, there's positive cards to sort of balance this out. So don't turn off the video just yet. Okay, so um, what I'm seeing here is the Eight of Cups. So you're thinking what you were thinking. I, I feel like you're thinking that um, either you or your partner... You know, what you're thinking about the relationship is there's something that's fundamentally missing. You have a lot of good things about this relationship. But where is this, where is the love deep down? It's like, I feel like there was like a recent argument or something between you and your partner and that lasted and you're wondering like, is this does this person respect me? Okay. Um... Again, there's a lot of great things about this relationship, but I do see that this, like, man, he's in between these two women, and he's kind of, like, enjoying the attention here. So, what your partner thinks about you or the relationship is the lover's card. This card has actually come up for pretty much all of the readings so far, for all of the signs. Because I'm doing a couple's love reading, so it would make sense that the lover's card would come up. This person is thinking about love. Now, are they acting in a way that is loving? Do they feel the love? Or is it just like all in their, in their mind? They're thinking about the relationship. Maybe they're reviewing the relationship in their mind as well. There are moments of passion that this person is thinking about. This feels like a little bit, okay, I'm gonna keep moving forward here because I'm seeing some other things. So here we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like it was something that was said. This is some sort of message. This could be a text message, excuse me, a text message, a, um, some sort of communication, an email, um, something that was spoken. I feel like it was innocent because it's a page, but it feels like it cut kind of deep here. You're, you're feeling it. You're definitely feeling it. And whatever happened where you were sort of, you know, you sort of bit, you were biting back in some way. What your partner feels. Okay, I feel like your partner feels that it's over. Not that the relationship is over, but I feel like he, that they think that the fight is over or that that's over and done with. It happened and it's over. But for you, I feel like it had some sort of lasting effect on you, on your relationship. It's like stung in some way. 
anyway, they're seeing it as like, you know, that's over and done with, that was yesterday, you know, um, they're not carrying that with them. Okay. This to me feels a little bit like there is a juggling act. So the two of pentacles, to me, it feels like you have high highs and low lows with this person. It doesn't feel like it's been a smooth ride, it, especially right now. I kind of feel like you guys are going through something. Um, the two of pentacles to me is like, you know, again, I see that there is passion in this relationship but passion doesn't necessarily mean stability and boring. <laughs> a bo sometimes boring is good. Sometimes, you know, um, there can be a little too much excitement in our lives. But I, I do feel like it's kind of up and down with this person. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. So I want to pull a card for the Romance Angels. To give you a message on what it is that you fundamentally want from this person or what you want out of this relationship. Oh, here, I think for another one. Okay, so this is kind of reaffirming what I was seeing. Well, first we have the love yourself first card, okay? It says your self-respect makes you uh, more romantically attractive, okay? It's obviously important to put yourself first no matter what, okay? If you put your partner in front of you, um, then the universe is really going to be sort of on your back about that. you got to put yourself first in any situation. Um, it's the hardest to do, I think, with lovers. But here we have the Eight of Cups that I was saying you were thinking about. There's a lot of really good things about this relationship. But ultimately, I think I had said it, you wonder if this person respects you fundamentally. They may show signs that they love you. They may show signs that they're dedicated. They may do things for you. You know, um, they may spend quality time with you. They may do like show their love in different ways but you're wondering deep down like do they do they respect me if they're gonna hurt hurt me if there's gonna you know those fighting words sometimes um cross the line okay so here we have codependency on their end addictions are affecting your romantic life okay this could be, you know, an addiction to the internet, it could be an addiction to substances, it could be an addiction to a person. Okay, I feel like this person relies on you more than they necessarily want to. I mean, they have allowed themselves to. I don't feel like this person really wants to be ultimately dependent on you or have a codependent relationship. Um they do rely on you in some ways okay maybe they want to break some habits as well so those addictions are affecting your romantic life maybe somebody said something or did something when they made some unwise choice when they were drinking or under the influence of something and that sort of lasted with you that could be potential Okay, so the shadow card of really what this is all about for both of you is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So forgiving your partner, you know, um, allowing for that and maybe asking for forgiveness as well. Okay. And our relationships are our biggest teachers. They are the learning lessons in our lives. Okay, so I want to go ahead and pull a card from the Lover's Oracle deck to give you a closing message on what you need to hear right now about love. It says, it is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. Okay. 
All right, Sagittarius, so this was your couple's reading. And, you know, whatever difficulties or challenges arise in life gives us an opportunity to prove what we are capable of. It makes us stronger, yes, but it also proves to us what our personal strength is. So I wish you the best and thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any insights or uh, additional comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.